Hey, hey, what's up, gaming addicts, man? I got a. Hey, this is gonna be a good episode right here, man. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, do all that cool stuff like that. So, what I'm gonna be doing today, like, there was a while, you know, back of my back of my beginning days when I was just kind of making a page about everything. I still am, but what I mean is like, I was cooking on there, right? Like, I had some cooking videos on there, so I'm gonna get back into this, right? So, we're gonna start off this cooking edition this new era of cooking with um something that i've never had before honestly i'm scared to death i don't know what it's gonna be like um it was referred to me by a friend um yeah man she's my buddy so we're gonna figure this out man we're gonna figure this out and uh hopefully it goes well but what i'm gonna be cooking for y'all <clears throat> is going to be Ooh, it's bright as can be. Ground bison. So, reason I'm going with bison is because I don't, I don't really, I'm not a fan of beef, not anymore. Like I don't, I don't really eat it. Um, nowhere near as much as I used to. Like I had a burger with my dude, I don't know, like two weeks ago. I think two weeks ago now. Um, but I don't really do that anymore. And and I mean, it's not. You know, really because I'm trying to, you know, lose weight or anything like that is it's because it's it's bad. Like, I mean, our our, our beef, man, like our, our beef quality is straight poop. Like, I mean, it's like E. coli, man. Like, I mean, you know, if I'm going to use a PR term, ain't that what they call poop in the news? They call it E. coli. So, yeah, um, it, it's not good for you. And uh, especially if you grill it, it it's really... I mean, it's damn near dangerous for you if you grill beef in our country just because it's so it's so damn contaminated with hormones and stimulants. doesn't react well to open flame. Um, so when you put those two together, I just don't really eat it that much. Even though I love it, I miss it. And we was talking about a steak the other day, and she just kind of had me thinking, like, man, damn, I haven't had a, oof, I haven't had a steak in a long time. Um, so... So I got one, uh, or I, 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 okay, I didn't say I got one, I got, I went looking for one. I actually went looking for like a filet and bison, but you know, they didn't have it at Whole Foods and I tried another place down here um, and they just didn't have it. So I just figured I'd settle with ground beef. You know, it was, she still recommended it as it'd be good. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go with just ground beef. So I'm gonna just make the best hamburger I could possibly make. Hopefully I like it. Haven't really had any strange meats before. I had deer one time. My dude tricked me into deer, and it was a burger. It was a good burger, but I mean, like, ever since I've had deer after that, I ain't like it. And uh, <clears throat> I had alligator once at this place called Papa Do's. It's here in uh, Cincinnati. I'm off of 275. If you're ever around, it's there, 275 Cincinnati's Papa Do's. You know, you can get some good stuff there. Um, but besides that, I really haven't had anything, so I'm, I'm real curious to see. And the reason I went with bison is because as of right now, you know, they don't use hormones, they don't, they don't use stimulants, they don't use none of that grass-fed, all of that good stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. It's 90% lean is what this is, so I'm going to give it a shot. Again, I'm not uh, opposed to beef, but I'm just opposed to just the way that it, it, it's just being given to us. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to season it. And uh, I'm going to season the whole pound. I'll probably just cook a half a pound burger. And then I'll just use the rest for tacos, to be honest with you. I'm not going to just make two hamburgers. That's just, that's crazy. That's too much. So I'll just do that. And I'll just make another half a pound worth of the tacos and eat that. So I'm just going ahead and season it right now. So... Uh, and this is with all beef, you know, when it comes to cooking it, the number one rule to beef is when you take it, before you cook it, you want to let it sit out for at least 30 minutes. And the reason you want to let it sit out for at least 30 minutes is because 
I mean, it's coming out the refrigerator cold and you're throwing it right onto the skillet after you pat out the little bar or whatever. So the outside's gonna be a lot warmer than the inside. So the outside's gonna cook a lot faster than the inside. So what your potential is, is that it's not gonna cook evenly through like it should, even though you know the medium well and all that. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about overall just cooking just how you should get a perfected hamburger. We ain't talking about just, you know, we talking about a perfect burger. So, um, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna tend to probably more likely or not in one way, shape or form burn on the outside before the inside is where it needs to be as far as temperature wise goes and all of that good stuff like that. So luckily for the way that I'm gonna prepare this is it's going to take about uh, after I marinate it, you know, or, or I should say the marinating process is going to be anywhere from, you know, 15 to really 30 minutes anyways. I'll probably let it marinate 15 minutes on both sides. Um, so it's going to get its 30 minutes of sitting out anyway. So as soon as it's done with its marination time, I can just go on ahead and throw it right on the skillet and be good to go. So the first thing, uh, I got my seasoning, so I'm going to go over that with y'all. So the first thing that I'm going to do haven't even opened it yet is I got my Worcestershire sauce right so I don't cook any I don't cook a burger I don't cook a steak without marinated in Worcestershire like it's just not going down um, I haven't tried this kind before I was in a Whole Foods so of course you know they're all organic and all kinds of things like that so I didn't find my typical Worcestershire so I don't really know how how this is gonna taste how, how I'm gonna react to it how my marination process is going to react to it, but I'm going to go on ahead and try it anyways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go on ahead and throw, I'm going to just dab the shit out of it. I mean, we're going to get down with the Worcestershire and this bison, all right? And it's going to turn out good. I, I'm, I'm confident, even though I'm scared because it's a new meat, I, I am. I am confident that it's, that it's going to be good, you know. I don't think she'll steer me wrong. Everybody got their own taste, though. Don't get me wrong. So hopefully, I mean, the beef just looks completely different. It's ground, but it just looks completely different than, I mean, even I've had Kobe beef before. It just goes together differently than Kobe as well. It's a lot leaner. It's soft almost. falls apart, really. This is going to be interesting to see how this pats out. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put an egg in this. So I wasn't even thinking about an egg, but it looks like we need maybe some holding together power. So I think I'm going to go on ahead and put an egg in this as well. Just going to go on ahead and put this on in here. Get this in here so we can get a nice, just solid. Oh, yeah, wow. I mean, it is really soft. Gee whiz, I wasn't expecting that. So we're just going to mix this up nice. nice and wow really soft now this is the leanest beef I've ever had as well um, I, I usually I mean I've done 80 but this is 90% I mean daggone like so I'm, I'm curious to see how this is gonna taste I'm curious to see how greasy it is there's a lot of things I'm curious about when it comes to this this hamburger or uh, bison burger um, this beef um, so it's going to be real interesting to see here. I had a couple of things to do. As far as seasoning goes, if you don't have a seasoning rack like this on the inside of your counter, you're just taking up space. I mean, this holds 15. I mean, and I got them spaced out. I mean, technically it came with like 35 or something. Hey, I'm not a cook all like that. I mean, I got my seasonings for my chicken. I got my seasonings for my beef. I got my seasonings for my chili. I can't really think anything else. I need a whole bunch of seasoning for like that. I don't really be doing pasta or anything like that. So um, I got my garlic salt, which I'm just do a couple of sprinkles of that because the garlic salt goes a long ways. You don't want to use too much garlic salt, man. Like it goes a long ways. It goes like salt. I mean, it really does. Like, you know, you can't use too much salt, man. Like it'd just be a little bit of garlic powder in here as well. Uh, so I'm gonna be light with that because I don't really know exactly how that's gonna absorb into the meat. I uh, have, of course, my steak seasoning. Steak seasoning, I'm gonna go on ahead and load that up. There's nothing wrong with having a real good seasoned ass burger. So I'm just gonna do a little bit when I'm mixing it in, cause I'm really gonna put my seasoning on the outside. Like I, I really like just the taste of it. 
just on your tongue, like ah, on the roof, ah, on the roof of your mouth. Ah. So I'm a, I'm a really season it on the outside. Of course, we got meat tenderizer. This stuff seems extremely, extremely tender as it is, but I'm gonna just do this for taste. This is uh, versus perk. We'll do some minced onion, and we got our regular salt and pepper. What about what's going on in the world, man? How y'all feel about y'all's world, man? Y'all's world, I hope y'all, everybody's all right. You know, doing well in this 2019. Hopefully resolutions is getting solved. Dreams is coming true. Weight's being lost. Partnerships is being gained, you know? Ooh. <clears throat> oh, that's the pepper right there. Cause I've been recording for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna put out uh, I'm gonna just let it sit out in some more Worcestershire for about another maybe 10 minutes because I'm really excited and I'm kind of hungry. So, uh, I mean, heck, at 25 or 30 minutes sitting out, if it's that big of a difference, man. And it just is. So, I'm gonna get some more of this. We're about to let it marinate some more. Put that right on top there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what we're gonna do with that. Um, that's all there will be to it. We'll just cook it, and we'll see how it goes, man. I'll, I'll let y'all know once we once we get back to the uh, patent process. I'll be back, and uh, we'll and we'll see. All right, so here we go. It's been 15 minutes, so the done already rotated and all that good stuff like that in there. Get the juices all sucked up in there as best as they could be. So now I'm just going to pat out a burger. I got my skillet. So copper, right? We're gonna see how this copper works. I ain't never used it before. We're gonna see how that works as far as non-stick goes. Let's do this. Uh, man. Yeah, you if you haven't uh thought thought about the the beef that you eat, I mean you should definitely look at it, you know. You you don't wanna use the excuse that it tastes good and, and let that be a reason. I mean, because I mean, hell, sex feels good without a condom, but if you do that shit with the wrong person, like, right? Like it, sometimes it's just not about, you know, just the, hell, just the exterior sensation. Like sometimes you really got to pay attention. So this is why I'm trying this and hopefully it works. Um, hopefully I like it. I mean, I'm super nervous. So hopefully I like it. Wow, it's so soft. Damn. Gee whiz. Um, because I'd really like an alternative. Now it was a little bit more pricier, obviously, um, than uh, shit than trash. So it should be, but it's uh, it is about nine dollars and fifty cents. I think this is like nine seventy or something a pound. Um, so it's definitely, if I like it, uh, it's still not going to be something I do often, but at least I'll have an alternative. And that, at the end of the day, that's really all I'm looking at. Damn, this is so soft. Wow. It looks like, I mean, it's just so soft. Uh, wow. Wow. Um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Oh, at least I'll have an alternative. And at the end of the day, that's all I'm really looking for because these damn government, man, they act like they just don't want to give anybody any options on anything ever, you know, except the ones that they provide for you. And of course, this obviously is still being regulated through them, but it's not, it's not, it's not regular beef. So that's really all I got to say about that. So I always say if there's an alternative to the way that the government steers you, then go that route because they do not have your interests best at heart at all. So what I'm gonna do, again, like I said, I, I got this idea, you know, from somebody who's cool with me, you know, that's my homegirl. So I'm gonna dedicate, I ain't gonna dedicate the burger to you because if I don't like the burger, you know, that's just, that's just wrong. Let me just dedicate something that I just don't like to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and dedicate this sizzle to you though. I'm gonna dedicate this first sizzle to you since this was your idea. <clears throat> and uh hopefully it, man hopefully i like it hopefully i like it it's looking really good right now i mean i ain't trying to sound like no damn 
weirdo, you know, talking about raw meat looks good, but it really, I'm, I'm liking the texture. It's looking all right. So I think we're good. I mean, you know what? I'm, I'm going to do the test. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we got the sizzle going on here. So again, here we go. First bison burger ever about to be thrown on this skillet. Yeah, that's for you right there. I appreciate it. All right. And then again, I got about a half a pound left. So when my hamburger's done, I'm gonna just go ahead and cook the rest of it up. And then we're gonna make tacos with it. Whoa. Oh, that smells good already. Your boy. Gonna hold it down in this kitchen. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, all right. So, <clears throat> outside of uh, outside outside of Nipsey, what's been going on in the world, man? I pay attention, but I don't pay attention. Um, that's probably the last big thing I really that caught my eye. Game of Thrones, I think, starts tonight or next week. That's coming up. So, got that to look forward to. Now I'm gonna put my seasoning that I was talking about that I, you know I wanted it to just be on the house, to just the taste, you know. So I'm gonna put my seasoning on my burger as well now. So again, I, to me, like a heavenly seasoned burger, like you can't go wrong with it. So I'm gonna just season this on up. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit more minced onion on there. Right on the outside there. I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave the garlic salt and powder alone. Again, that stuff just goes so far. So we'll just put all this back up where it comes from. somewhere around here and uh, I'm gonna do this all right I'm excited man <clears throat> so let me know in the comments below like what's like the craziest thing y'all ever ate like I said for me I don't know I don't know which is crazier between these two I don't know if alligators crazy or bison I mean I kind of I'm kind of leaning towards bison lightweight. I don't know. There's something about that. This seems a little crazy to me. <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, I guess they're both crazy, but I had somebody else cook the bison for me or the uh, alligator for me. So maybe because I'm doing this on myself, maybe I'm just making it a little bit more special. I don't really know. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, just let me know what the craziest thing is that y'all ever ate. Um... Tell me if you liked it. Tell me if you'd eat it again. Recommend it. All that good stuff like that. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's looking like a hamburger. It's smelling like a hamburger. I think I'll be all right, man. Oh, oh, check this out. Bison burger, my fault. All right, so. Another thing that I'm trying to change actually did change is I cut cheese slices out too you know because it's not real cheese I mean you can read it on a label legally they're not allowed to call it cheese and they don't you know that pasteurized stuff is it's not cheese like if you want to get the cheese you don't get the kind that comes in the plastic individually wrapped sleeves you get the cheese if it slices it's in the pack that's sliced but it's like all of it in one pack you know what I mean that's di that's the difference that's that cheese is all right but I'm still not even going that route um, I'm going to go with you see yeah there we go get that focus you see that right there you see my eyes looking at that right there we're gonna put that smoked gouda on there right there it smells so smoky delicious Oh, man, if you ain't never had smoked Gouda, I suggest you try it immediately. Go to any place 
that you buy food at, ask them, oh my God, I mean, I could just, listen, I don't really do cheese, man, when it comes to just blocks and eating cheese, just to eat cheese like that old cheese and crackers and all that crazy shit like that. I don't do that. But I'll tell you what, when it comes to Gouda, I could. And I'm, 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 for the most part, I mean, I'm lactose intolerant. I can handle cheese, but my God, if I, oh, it, it'll destroy my entire life. So I don't, I don't need too much of it. So I would definitely eat this, you know, just bite this with extreme caution if I was going to eat it, but I can't do it because it's so good. This is my favorite cheese, man, on earth. Smoked Gouda. So what I got is one of these, and I've never used it before. One of these right here. You know, I think, I, I don't even know if this is what it's for, but I'm pretty sure this is what it's for. Pretty sure I've seen this on the commercials and stuff like that. Seen this being used. So I'm gonna use it <laughs> with my Gouda. Uh, I don't really know how it works. But we're gonna try this out. Oh, see, I think it goes this way. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, okay. So I think if I do it right down the whole middle, we're gonna get a nice slice, I think. Or do you do it on the side? Either way it goes, I'm about to eat this right now. Mm. Oh shit, boy, get this right here. Mm. I mean, whoever thought of this, boy, I mean, I have to assume it was them Italians. My God, boy, y'all and y'all's cheese, man. That smoke good is no joke. Um, yeah, so I don't know what I was, I was talking about sidetracking. I don't know. Yeah, Nipsey, it's messed up, man. It's been, what, two weeks now? How y'all feeling? Like, y'all still down for the cause or what, man? Like I said before, if you watched my last video, it's uh, it's a community thing, man. We, we've got to come together on this or we just going to die. We just going to die out and the world's going to forget about us. Because you already know, they're already rewriting history and, and changing, the, changing everything. Have been doing it for a while and they ain't going to stop. So if we just kill each other off, it's just going to make it easier on them. So... Well, I don't know if I should flip this thing or not. It's definitely looking like it's holding together. I'm feeling a lot better. Feeling a lot better. Uh, honestly, I'm trying to figure out what kind of side I'm going to have to go with it. Kind of just really thought about the hamburger. I'll, I'll mess around and throw a bison burger in with some plain potato chips wavy and call it a day and not even think twice about it, though. I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, ooh, that's not stick. Boy, this thing is sliding around. Almost pushed this thing out the damn skillet. Damn. Look like a fish, a fish jumping in a boat. Mm, damn, look at that. Woo, okay. You ain't looking too bad there, Sonny D. Uh, Put a little bit of salt. So yeah. Also, if you need any plugins, if you're trying to start a business, if you're trying to start a YouTube, if you just want your stuff promoted, I'll promote your stuff on Instagram. Hit me up in a DM. We can talk about fees. We can talk about all that good stuff. If you want to know how to start a YouTube page, I'm the perfect guy for you. Don't think that you can't start a YouTube page because YouTube is for you. Right now, I'm making a YouTube video about something that I would do even if I didn't have a YouTube account. So since I do have one, I might as well go on ahead and record it and let YouTube say, hey, we'll give you a little bit of money because you're, you're, taking, you're taking the time to do this. So if you need help with starting a YouTube channel, I also help people out with that. I got a lot of good advice to help you, to help you on your way. You know, am I gonna say that, you know, my information is going to make you go viral, I'm gonna make you all kinds of money? Hell no, I'm not gonna say that. But what I will say, is that I will get you on your way because it's not what I'm going to teach you. It's all about your content. I can all, you know, all I can do is just show you how to put your content out there the best way you can possible and give you all the information I can to help you get started, to get you well on your way. Stuff that took me over a year, trial and error, hundreds 
and hundreds and thousands and thousands and thousands of hours into this, right? So I know what I'm doing as far as that goes. I'm, I'm out here working as hard as I can be, but if if you got the drive, if you got the one, if you don't want to work for people, if you want to just try to do something else, I got you. You just let me know and we can do a couple of things. I got seven things that will help you get you on your way. Just let me know, all right? Oh, wow. Damn. I think this thing might be done. All right. Ain't no blood coming out of that at all. Ooh, that is clear. I think this thing is done. I wasn't ready for that. All right, so I'm about to try this Gouda. Ooh, I'm gonna slice it. Oh, son of a bitch, I dropped it in the raw hamburger. Bison burger. Well, I ain't gonna be messing with that. Damn, that was right on the edge, too. That would have been perfect. All right. I think this is how you do it. I feel like this thing's gonna come back and sh shit. Shed the skin right off of my wrist. I ain't trying to skin myself over here about to fillet myself. So this is something I'm gonna have to get good at using. I know I got my head all in the picture. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Comes to the ultimate burger. It also comes down to the ultimate bun to go with it. You know what I mean? But uh, <laughs> nah, bro, I don't think so. I ain't about to buy a whole pack of anything to use it for one thing one time. Oh no, we don't get down like that on this side, bro. So. Yeah, put in my cheese and foil. Um, that's just way it's gonna get down. So we ain't going with no extravagant bun. We gonna go with that honey wheat, <laughs> and that's what we gonna do. Drink my tang. Hey, if y'all don't know about tang, I don't know what's wrong with y'all, man. That's the drink of the astronauts, man. Tell you what, I've been drinking tang for about two years now. I ain't been six cents. That's really all I got to say. I ain't talking about a sniffle. I'm not talking about a runny nose. I'm talking about nothing. And uh, that's all there is to that, man. Love me some tag. I'm not a con Oh, man, damn, that is. Mm -mm -mm, there is no grease. I could say that. Dang. All right. This is the moment of truth right here. I gotta take a bite now for y'all, then I'll let y'all go, man. Bison burger. Lettuce. Mmm. Taste that good to smell it, boy. All right, here we go. Bison burger a la Brandon. Okay. So, of course, the way that I make my burgers, it tastes amazing. Best burger in the world. Damn. Oh. Okay, hold on. Hold on. That's really good. I can't even tell the difference. There's a little bit. <clears throat> I think it's the lean because it's 90%. But. As far as the meat, oh, yeah, so I just spit on camera. My fault. I think. Oh, all right. We got a winner. Hey, I appreciate you. You know who you are. Oh, I appreciate you. We can do it. I'm I'm salty lightweight. I want another burger. Damn. Hey, them tacos is gonna be banging tomorrow. Alright, so my man, I can eat that whole thing right now. Okay. Uh consensus. We have a winner. Bison burger two thumbs up 
even without my awesome cooking. And if I just patted it out, threw a little bit of seasoning and salt, pepper on it with some cheese, I'ma still give it two thumbs up. I can, I can, I can taste it. That's not bad. So I'm gonna move on to a steak next. Now that I'm fully convinced, even though they didn't have what I was looking for at Whole Foods, I'm a, I'm a, now I'm going to just make more of an effort to try to find it. So I'll probably go to Jungle Gyms or something like that. But overall, two thumbs up, Bison Burger. Gaming at its commune, man. I'm out. Do all that subscribing stuff, y'all.